Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Rick and this is the Helpful Entrepreneur YouTube channel which is all about entrepreneurship and this video is about three fun assets that I myself have invested in that have just been such a blast to be a part of. Number one is the bar restaurant industry. I've been fortunate to be a partner in three different ones, two in Atlanta, Georgia, and one up here in Canada, not far from here in Burlington, with a few friends of mine that have just been incredible, incredible experiences. The two of them in Atlanta were in the Buckhead area. One was called Mosaic, and the other one was called Tavern 99. And both of them were started by a good friend of mine back home here in Toronto, and he was the majority owner of both. And so we're obviously off to a great start to be very successful and to have a great time at making these projects take off. The third one that I was also a partner at that was called Ivy, not far from here, was also started by another friend of mine that was the majority owner. So again, we're off to a great start. Now mind you, the restaurant industry, it is tough. There was a lot of work that we had to go through for all three places. But once they were all up and running, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you meet the best people, you meet a lot of, make a lot of great friends. It is something that's tangible. You can walk in, you can surround yourself with the interior, exterior of your location, and you feel that you're a part of it and you've really created something that you can be extremely, very, very proud of. And the nights that these places were busy, Wow, what a great feeling. The positive energy in the air, you're meeting people, you're seeing friends, you're creating all these great experiences, and you're learning so much along the way. It is a great asset to be part of. But remember, it is tough. You gotta have a great working team together to make it very successful. Luckily that we did in all three locations. And talk about a fun asset to invest in. It was such a great, great experience. I'll go into more detail on all three of these locations in a future video. And before I get to fun asset number two, yes, I am taking a break from the send a big smile videos. I just I placed this one out there quickly. But our next video is probably going to be our send a big smile money race number five. So if you want to be part of the fun, make sure you subscribe right now down below and hit the bell so you're notified. And in the meantime, go and check out our sendabigsmile.com website and consider joining our team as well. You get all the perks of being a member for five bucks a month, you get promoted with a smile. Your YouTube channel, your blog, your website, pretty much about anything will promote in upcoming Send a Big Smile videos. Okay, here we go with the second fun asset that I have invested in, and that is real estate, both short-term and long-term. So back when the housing crash occurred in 2009, my business partner Paul and I started forming a Mappus Incorporated, and what our plan was was to buy long-term rentals in two of the five hardest hit states, and at that time it was Arizona and Florida, and buy into cities that we wanted to be able to get to easily with a straight flight from Toronto, and that were fun to visit, that had major sporting teams, warmer weather, and that we just wanted to be a part of and get engulfed in and really explore the city every time we went there. So these were two perfect places for us. So now every time we do our annual walkthroughs, and you can see that in a past video up here of mine, it is a fun adventure every time. We will visit our places in Phoenix. We're usually there for a day or two on our way to our other location in, in Puerto Vallarta. So it's a quick stopover. But we'll go hiking there. We'll go check out a Coyotes game. We'll go check out a Suns basketball game while we're there. It is fun. Plus it's business at the same time. But most of it is a lot of fun. And also we'll fly directly into Tampa. We'll spend usually a few days there as well, getting more involved in the city. We'll go check out a Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. Just have a great time while we're down there after we do our walkthrough. So there you go. Pick the right location of cities that you want to invest in real estate and enjoy the time that you're down there. Make it fun. So also under the real estate umbrella are short-term rentals. You can buy a cottage by yourself or with a group of friends and rent it out on Airbnb. We're doing it currently with one of our cottages. It's a lot of fun. And running it through the Airbnb platform makes it smooth and really easy. 
And also we've got a place down in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, which we also use Airbnb to find our tenants with. That's also a short term. Most often they're there for either between one week or two months. So the fairly short term, my business partner and I will go down, we'll go, have to go down and do some painting, fixing up of the condo. Again, we make a week of it and really enjoy the city while we're down there. Make sure you hang around because I've got a bonus idea that I haven't done myself yet, but I really want to try out this upcoming year that I'll place near the end of this video. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put a bit of a time out to this fun asset video and stop the music here for just a second as well. Thank you. I think there's something here that I really should explain to you before we go any further. I show you fun asset number three, and that is being an entrepreneur is extremely difficult. It's extremely challenging. I do not want to mislead you in any way and make you think that these fun assets just came about overnight. They didn't. This is from a lot of hard work. And at times I was just in the right place at the right time. I was just really lucky. And I was fortunate to be surrounding myself with other amazing entrepreneurs as well. But if you really want to become an entrepreneur, by all means, let's do it and watch my earlier videos. A lot of them could really help you out. But I always say, if I can do this, you can do this. But it does come with a price tag of a lot of hard work. Okay, that should be about it. Let's move on to fun asset number three. Remember what I said. And the third fun asset that you can invest in is something that I kind of stumbled across in one of my earlier businesses. I had started a business with a friend of mine in his basement. Imagine that, starting a business in a basement or a garage with a friend, unheard of. No, we were, honestly, we started this and it took a few years, but we made it, we had to get to the point of becoming a multi-million dollar business. So we had 26 staff at one point. And we kind of stumbled across this idea and that is we had purchased a limousine. It was only a six seater at first in order to keep our staff and our clients safe. Well, we would take them out for events, dinners, whatever the case may be. So we had a six person at first, like I said, and then we advanced to an eight person limousine and then also a 10 person limousine. But what ended up happening is like when we were out for these events, we'd take them to sporting events, we'd be taking our clients out for dinners, we'd be going and taking out our staff to celebrate milestones that we had achieved. So we started getting approached by people asking, do you happen to rent out your limo? So we thought, well, why not? So we hired a driver and we started renting out our limos on the off nights that we weren't using them. And on the weekends, it was, we were taking on weddings and parties and, and, and anything, basically. It was a lot of fun. It was just something that was hidden within our business that we thought, hey, there's a demand by outside people wanting to also use this asset of ours that we created now, which was originally a liability and turned into a, a major asset. So if you've got anything within your business that you can do the same thing, you can turn it around and make money from do it in our case it was the limousines and boy they were obviously a very fun asset to have <laughs> so this would be a bonus fun asset to have you buy an entry-level exotic car and you rent it out to people when you're not using it through say Turu, hire anywhere else and you just make it become an asset for you generating revenue like I said when you're not using it again I haven't tried this one out yet so I don't really know what the numbers are maybe I'll do a future video on this if I decide to pursue it I always thought it'd be a bit of a fun idea to buy an exotic car you wanted rent it out use it periodically but just have it pay for itself so there you go those are three ideas of fun assets that I have invested in and a bonus one for you so hopefully you're going to be part of our next Send a Big Smile Money Race number five, which is coming up very soon. Until then, see you around, stay safe.